Hello and how are you? My name is Mohind Ambar and I'll come here to our fifth lecture of creating a complete hotel uh, management system. So we have been discussing and we've been setting up what we need. So right now we're going to proceed uh, from where we stopped at in the previous lecture and see what, how we move this uh, whole thing to the next level. So we always do 40 minutes, so I'll go ahead and start my timer. It has started, so let's go ahead and start at today's business. So in the previous lecture, we stopped at this level, whereby uh, we were able to configure our hotel management system. Uh, what um, uh, We were able to set up its, what, its uh, template. So if your template is not showing, you may need to do what? To delete the cookies. You may need to delete the cookies. If there is any here, you can go ahead and delete those one and then reload. The template should be able now to, to show. If it still doesn't show, just make sure it is in this order. So let me go ahead and open the project. Go ahead and open our project. So make sure that uh, if your template is not working, make sure that uh, your CSS is like this all the everything that is starting with assets is like this just assets i uh -huh. make sure that um, your css uh what your css i mean your assets folder is here on top remember the asset folder that i shared with it with, it, with the template so make sure that is on top here make sure that is on top and then also make sure that uh, this is on top here and make sure that um, everything that, for example, let me come here to admin.php. So mm. make sure that everything that is starting with asset, it, is having, it, is, it does not have anything to it. Okay. So by doing so, at least your assets should be able to set and display accordingly here. So right now, we're going to begin by, by designing our side menu. We're going to begin by designing our side menu whereby we're going to have um, uh, only a uh, few things that we need here on the top here. And also, uh, we're going to design what should be appearing in this side. So we don't repeat, we shouldn't repeat our heart, we shouldn't repeat ourselves. So let us begin doing that. Let us begin organizing our template. So first things first, I'm going to remove this by now. So I'll come to admin.php and search for by now. So this is the button. I'll go ahead and remove it and save the camera refresh by now should be gone all right so i'm going the next thing that i'm going to do i'm see this everything here here and here so everything in this top bar and this side bar since they are almost uh, in every page okay since they are almost in every page what i'm going to do i'm going to put them in a single page so we're just including them that's what i'm going to do so by doing so we shall have uh, what an organized what an organized the uh, screen so uh this left uh, left what left uh, okay let's this header and this side menu and then this bottom our uh, footer we're going to put them in a single screen so we can only call them when you want them. I mean, so also you can call them multiple times without repeating ourselves. That's the thing that we're going to to begin with. So let's go ahead and create what you call maybe dashboard header. So I just simply come here and say new file and say dashboard header dot php. So um, let's go ahead and Put that one there mm, after doing so all right like after doing so let's go ahead and put uh, everything that is on top here on top here we put it there so shall we know we shall just simply come and get this search right so we're going to get everything out on search and put in the header all right so let's go ahead and do that so i'll come to our um, admin.php and then so everything in this head we are just going to cut it and put in the other side so let me go ahead and see where our header begins it begins and where it ends okay 
so i'll go ahead and remove all that all right let me remove all this so let me go ahead and collapse this header this head and then come here and then i'm going to sort of collapse this aside all right so i believe that's the side menu so you see the comment here that the menu ends from here this is the main menu so let me collapse so this is the layout where the page starts then you have here the nav bar the nav bar is now the top header so and now this is the what the real system content it starts from here okay so i'm going to cut everything here okay do i need to container xxl for go right, let me cut everything from here so i cut everything from there you can go ahead and collapse these ones so you see the content ends from here so it ends from here so this is where the content ends from and that will be our footer so let me cut that you see you've seen where i've cut it from i've cut it beginning from uh from what from let me show you here where the content starts here where it is container xxl so i cut all that after cutting it i'll come and paste it cutting is ctrl x I select and then say ctrl x then i'll come and paste it here in header so if i save i've pasted it in header if i save i come and refresh here now we should not be able to see things looking nice because all the sales has been taken away so i'll go ahead and get this file this name of the file and then come here to to admin.php and then i come on top here on top and then i include it so i just simply open my php tag and then i put require once and then i go ahead and put require once and then i pass the file which is um which is what admin.php i mean sorry header 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 i mean dashboard header.php this one here i include it so if i refresh you'll see now everything has been is now just like the way it was before so i've just go the other part and i add it here and that's how you do it so i'll get this footer you see where there's a tag of footer i'll go ahead and get the footer i'll go ahead and get these containers all of them i'm going to get them just everything beginning here from the uh from this that closes the container i just leave this row is the content so i'll just copy everything here copy oh, then i can go and align so I copy and then come to the I create another footer. So come and create a new file and call it dashboard footer.php and then I put there dashboard footer. So I go ahead and put that there. So that will help us not repeat ourselves. So if I come and save, come and refresh, now the system shouldn't be responsive, shouldn't be able to collapse, be able to search because i'm not removed from remove dashboard what dashboard footer so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and and do what and uh, and add let's go ahead and add the the what let's go ahead and add the footer all right let's go ahead and add the footer let's go ahead and import the footer so i'll come here and copy the footer name and then i come to the that admin.php and then i come here and open php tag and then i put require once dashboard footer dot php okay dashboard footer .php. so by doing so now everything should look fine and everything should not be fine the graph should be able to come back so you see that's how you manage your dashboard things so all right so what we're going to do we're going to now remove all the unnecessary things here we just remain with uh, what we want we're going to just put there only what we want so what i'm going to do i'm going to remove 
uh, everything. I'm just going to remove everything. Let's first remove everything. Then we shall be benchmarking from the real template as we put back what we want. So we're going to remove all, all the things here so they shouldn't stop confusing us, okay? So let's go ahead and remove them. So that will be in the aside. So maybe we can leave just this one for logout. Yeah, maybe. I think logout will even be here. So let's go ahead and remove everything that is on this side. So let's do that. So we shall go to header, uh, dashboard header.php. So let's go ahead and remove everything that's on this side. So you can just simply come and search for a side. All right. And just format it first. Uh, so let me go ahead and search for a side. So you search for a side here. So this is the tag of the aside. Uh, so we have here our HTML tag, HTML2, here, learn of dashboard. Let's keep it there like that. So that is our main dashboard. All right, so I can put maybe the main link, like if someone clicks there, they should be taken out to the main, uh, to the main website. All right, so let's go ahead and now, um, let's go ahead and now what? Let's go ahead and uh, and uh, remove all these let's go ahead and remove all these so i'll go ahead and come here to where there is dashboard i can leave dashboard and then maybe i can leave i want to leave the most top link like calendar we shall leave calendar because it is like on top so let's leave dashboard and then analytics tab just for the sake of what for the sake of demonstration so I'll go ahead and remove these and remove these ones. So after removing them, if I come and refresh, now you should see that um, uh, yeah, here we can have analytics tab there. All right, so let's go ahead. We have just left on the analytics tab. So let's go ahead and uh, remove uh, these others, content layout. Let's remove all those from our template. So I'll come here, remove this menu, Remove this one, remove this one, remove this one. All right, so we can leave calendar because we shall use it for the uh, topmost illustration. So this leave calendar. Let's remove the rest. Remove, 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 remove. I select them and remove them. Remove this guy. Remove this guy, remove this guy, remove this guy, remove this guy. Select them and remove them. Remove this guy, remove this guy, remove them. All right. I command remove this guy. Okay. Remove this guy, remove this guy. Are we still in the menu? Just be careful that you don't remove wrong things. If I come and refresh, and I see I've removed a couple of things. Yes. So let's go ahead and remove more. Remove, 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 remove. The template is very rich. It has a lot of things. So I'll remove all this garbage. All right. Uh, the charts and the maps. Remove. Remove, remove, remove. I think they are good now. Hope I should remove now the what is very important there. I think this is the close of the list. So if I come and refresh now, should have the calendar on the icons. We can leave them just for demonstration. Let's remove them. Remove icons. Yeah, here I think I've removed them. Cotal Alt and L, Cotal Alt and L, Cotal Alt and F, format, Cotal Alt and L. So go ahead and format. So you can see our side ends from there. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, come to the nav bar. So the nav bar, I think it will be the last thing that we shall work with. Or now I can leave it there. So let's go and refresh. So there is our project. Uh, so this is our login user. That's our notification. And then here is our quick applications. All right, so can we want to add? 
All right, so let's go ahead and uh, inspect and start looks like on the mobile phone. That's how it looks like on the iPad. We you have your menu there. Uh -huh, let's look how it looks like on the phone. That's how it looks on the phone. You have your menu there. All right, so and uh, your search bar. Uh huh. Then you have your user, the login user there. And then you have your like uh, a pop up menu. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think that is fine. All right, I think that is okay. That is very okay. All right, so let's proceed and uh, refresh. Everything is fine. So now let's proceed to our core things. Okay. So we're going to begin by adding. Um, uh, categories I don't know they'll need the categories <laughs> uh, let's look at our, our benchmarking template if we shall need categories and let me put this baby on the charger Alright, so I don't think we need categories for now. We can skip categories part. Mm. Okay, let's begin with categories. let's begin with categories and then after categories we come to uh, yeah let's begin with room categories and then after room categories we come to now the real rooms so a room will begin will belong to a category so all that is knowledge that you need to use all right so let's proceed so we're going to create a category so a category basically here let's see what you have here on this uh, on this template so when you go to a category you just simply get its top its topmost photo then its description i mean its title and then the description okay so you'll see that here in our template most of uh, pictures, the top pictures, they are always uh, sliders. They are always sliding. So what we're going to do, we're going to make sure that uh, even when we're doing, our pictures should be what? Should be having that ability to do what? I mean, you should be able to upload multiple pictures, okay? So when someone says, I'm going to a certain category, you should be able to do for them something like uh, this, okay? like these services all right let me see if i have a page of category because might not be having it all right okay so let's begin let's begin let's begin uh so we begin by creating category so i've seen that uh on the category you're going to collect we're going to collect uh we're going to collect uh the title let me start uh, what we are inspired here with. All right, so our category will look like this. Okay, so another you may need categories. I'm also trying to brainstorm right now, so let me see facilities. Let's see facilities. It's a page of facilities. So our category can be like this one okay let's begin with the category so a category let's let a category have a top photo a photo 
then it will have a uh, uh, description and then the yeah photo description the title and description photo title photo and description title photo description then uh, that is uh, our category that's going to be the category title photo and description maybe we need to say like okay which template should it use okay which template should it use should it have like uh, this design when someone is viewing at it or not all right let's have title title photo and description okay so let's go ahead and create uh, that table let us go ahead and create that table right let's go ahead and create a table of categories okay so let's go ahead and do that Let's go ahead and do that. So I'll come to our database and then come to our Hotel Pro and then come here and say create new table. So it can have like five columns. So it's the table is going to call room room underscore categories. Room underscore categories. That's the name of our table. Uh -huh. So let me ignore this. So uh, the first one will be to incrementing. Let's make it incrementing and the primary key. And then the first one will be the name of the room. We can make it text and make it nullable. And then details. We make it text and make it nullable. And then photo or maybe thumbnail. Let's make let's just call it photo photo we make it text and nullable and maybe template template and also here we make it maybe virtual and make it maybe uh, 25 and make it maybe nullable okay so let's go ahead and create that so i save so are they saying okay so this is id how could the id i save so when i save you'll see that uh, i now have what i now have our table there of categories which is just a simple table that has an id the name on that and uh, details all right so uh we're going to need a drop down for rooms i think I would need a drop down for rooms so, so that's why you'll have maybe room category and the rest. Or can just let's begin by just simply putting it on top there and put maybe room categories, okay? So let's go ahead and benchmark from our template. So I'm going to put here room category. Let's first benchmark from our template. So you can open your template and put it somewhere. So to open your template, you'll just simply find it in our project. Okay? Stroke template. Uh sorry just just you can find it here just go ahead and right click on you open your project that uh, the code that i shared with you on github where is it the code that i shared with you on github then come here to uh what come here to uh right click on it and then say reveal in finder if you're in window you can see something like uh, show in uh, explorer something like that so come here to hotel i mean sorry to admin and then come to hotel uh html then open then you'll be able to see the template that we're going to be using okay so it is that simple to see the template so i'm going to be to be marking from our template here so i can put it here so you can be able to navigate to anywhere that you want all right so right now we want to do uh categories so we can just get an uh for example this uh you see this subsections eh? Uh, room so you can get a subsection of rooms so it be like instead of having these apps and pages can have that sub subsection of rooms so how can we put a subsection uh we can just simply come here to our template and search apps and apps and pages so just simply say control shift f and then go ahead and search apps and then put and pages so something like this so go ahead and copy this menu header Okay, this menu header. So I come back to our header. You see, I come to our header dashboard header dot php, and then on this dashboard header dot php, 
I go to where there is our menu, our aside menu, aside menu. Then uh, we say that we should leave these ones. Let's go to a side menu. As aside, it is here. So we have here the okay. So we can just come out there's a dashboard, then come here next to it. Let's just put there our what? Our rooms. Or room management, something like that. Something like that. So if I come and refresh on our on our system, you see we have uh <laughs> why why is this showing pages and Eh? Why is this showing pages and the eh? Okay, I think it has an ID that is changing it from JavaScript. Okay, this is the translation part of it. Okay, it doesn't have translation. So if I come and refresh, you'll see room management. Okay, that is fine. Uh, all right, so after doing that, so we're going to put them room categories. Room categories, so we can go ahead and pick a relevant icon there. So you can pick maybe an icon like this one, maybe like this one, extended UI. So I can come and search it from here, extended UI. So I can go ahead and copy that what that icon menu box copy this one here. All right. So go ahead. Uh, so before you copy it. Let's first come back and uh, get our calendar. So the one that we'll be, we shall be using for benchmarking from. Come and paste it here. And then we're going to call it room categories. Room category. Categories, something like that. All right, so after doing so, uh, we're going to go ahead and put a relevant icon. I like this one BX BX uh, copy so I can just simply come and put here BX copy. So if I come and refresh, you have BX copy here. So because of uh, this translator, you can remove this data 18 so it can have a free room categories. All right, so there we go. Room categories, there it is. Uh, so now I want uh, when someone clicks here, they should be taken to room categories. So to do so, I uh, will just simply come to. Uh, I'll just simply come and create our what our room categories page. So everything that is uh, in admin, I'm going to begin it. I'll go. I'll to be to be starting it with admin. So let's go ahead and put room categories page. However, much of it will be just like uh, this. What this. Uh, template of admin. Look, let's wait from scratch. So I just simply come and say new file, and then I go ahead and call it what? And go ahead and call it uh, room. I go ahead and call it what? Uh, sorry, admin. I begin with admin dash room categories dot php. So that's how we shall be renaming our thing. So everything that will be under admin, begin with dash admin. So admin dash room categories so i'm want to, i'm going to put here in our header so i'll come to our, i mean sorry in our header i'll come here to where there is a link and change this one and add this one to admin room category admin room categories.php there it is so i'll go ahead and refresh now when someone clicks here they should be able to see uh, that empty page that we just created admin room categories now this empty page we're going to put there the header and footer so to do that i'll just simply come and copy this header that we put in the admin this header put it there and then come and copy also the footer and they put it here so by doing so and i save you'll start to automatically have now the header and the footer was just create rows and start adding there the what the content so now let's go ahead and uh, look at uh, 
the inspiration of the tables that are already in our template. So I'll just simply come here to uh, templates. Then you shall come here to different kind of views that we have. I have a chart, I have calendars. Uh, let me see who this one that was behaving properly. I think it's this one here. Yep, I think this one is behaving well. All right, so what I'm interested in their tables. So I'll search for tables. Tables are here. Uh, tables are here. So let's go ahead and expand this one. Come here to basic tables. A, eh? as if tables are not there. Then go ahead and try to search for tables. Tables are there. Are they not download? No problem. I'm going to fetch them. I'm not going to suffer with anyone here. Alright, so. Okay, so. Let me just go ahead and get these tables. I'm not going to fight with them. So let me just come here to our template. And there is buy. That is the link of that template, so I can just go there and steal the table. It's called demo phrase, so whatever you can pause the video and see it. Whoever I can find also in the template that I've shared with you, you can find it there. You can find that link here in the template that I gave you. Here under menu item, just search for first. You'll be able to see it. Just copy beginning from HTTPS. All right, so. This is the template. Let's go ahead and DC the vertical one. There we go. The real one. So let's go to the um, tables. So these are the kind of tables that we have here. Mm, those, these are the basic tables. Okay. So let's see if we have another table. These are data tables. So we have also data tables there. Mm -hmm. mm. Starts for tables again. We have advanced data tables. Standard data tables. I think tables here are almost the same. So there are the data tables. Alright, so we're going to, to get a data table here. However, let's worry about the table after we have done what? We have added there the content. However, we shall use the data tables. We shall use the data table. Let me first test something here. So just simply come and right click and say view source code control a control c let's see if we can get this source code to our project and have it working so i'll come here and paste it there place if it will work it's not let's go ahead and remove these leading things that are before asset control f out and enter then come here and remove everything before asset then come and refresh so it is there and our data tables have worked, I think. Well, they have not worked. Let's see, now that we copped. This now that we copped, it did not work. Well, we shall fix it, no problem. We shall surely fix these things. All right, let me undo and go back. Also, uh, I'll put a button there, a uh, button for creating. So, Let's go ahead and see where there is button and see if we can get a good button. So I shall search for buttons. So let me refresh here and search for buttons. So buttons are under what? Are under user interfaces. So let's see if we have here also buttons but HTM. So these HTM I don't know if they'll work or not. Alright, so 
can just simply use this rounded so you can inspect it and just copy it from there if you want to let me just inspect and then say uh, just move a mouse over it this one here however I can find it also in the template that I shared with you go ahead and copy element all right so let's go back here and come here and then add this button there so it's a simple button it's called rounded peel btn primary refresh so we have there our button there so let me change it into an anchor tag so if i change it to an anchor tag it will remain the same uh, so i have to put it just href and refresh that is a hot our button okay so now let's go ahead and uh, give it what give it a link Mm, for creating a what a new for creating a new for creating a new let's give it a link for creating a what a new category so to do that we shall first need to create a page for creating new category so let's go ahead and create that page so I'll come here just going to save this one control shift s I'm, I'm saving it as save as is called is control shift as to be like saving a fresh page so it is just going to be the same name only that in this front i'll add the create same name but create at the end of it mm -hmm. so that's it press enter where we go so i'll just simply come and copy this name this is the page shift s and then i come to i come to the what i come to our um, to our header okay it's not header i come to our categories categories admin categories i just change this one to admin rooms admin rooms categories php admin rooms categories create php and then i come here and put create new room i say maybe create or something like that to add a new room so if i come here and refresh see i have a button to create and click on create it takes me to the page of creating the what a new room this is this one here you see that is so nice so yeah here we are okay so there we are so if i come and refresh now you see i have on the left page of creating new room so i'll need to remove these ones template customizer let me come and remove it i think it's in the footer it's in the head i think mm. all right i think it's in css we shall we shall fix it we shall sort it out all right it's in javascript sorry Alright, so I come here, uh, I come and click on room categories, I click there, I'm here on create new room, I mean create new room category, create room categories, room ca admin room categories create, so everything should be in order in that way. So let's begin, let's look at the form of creating, what's the term that remaining with, remaining with seconds, let's at least finish the form part. So let's look at this form that we're going to use. So these are the forms. You can get inspiration. You can just use this simple uh, form. Okay. So that's what we're going to use, I think. Just going to use one like this. I think this one that we're going to use. So the forms are there. The forms are there. Right, so our time is up but i think we shall take it from there in the next lecture we are going now to work uh work with the forms submitting data 
and then we see how we do what how we have everything working in the what in this template so it can be challenging for the first time but don't worry that's how things be but uh, by the time we finish the project you'll see that everything is done what is doing what is making sense so let's meet in the next lecture and then we upload the what the i mean and then we proceed from this and we learn how to upload the product uh, the, the room categories saving them on the database then also create the room themselves and attach them to those categories that we shall have created and we shall do that tomorrow in the next lecture so make sure that uh, you don't miss uh goodbye Duncan, do you have a question? Duncan, are you there?